So today is Tiger AMU's first MQ-9 sortie, which is focused maintenance unit. So for us to start working on and generating the MQ-9 uh, is a huge step towards uh, modernizing the RPA fleet. The aircraft uh, and the MQ-9 is just that platform. So it's imperative that we get in front of this and make sure that our manpower and our maintenance people are capable of sustaining that platform. While most people are unfamiliar with the RPA Enterprise and mission sets that we do, it seems as if uh, we have such a tie to the warfighter on the ground that this is an outstanding opportunity for us, for our airmen, and every one of them are excited to be here, to go downrange, to fight the fight, for our supervisors, our frontline supervisors, to really focus on the, the small details of, of our paperwork to make sure those are all squared away. That's the biggest challenge we face right now. So the MQ-1 is going to be retired fully out of the inventory, at least that's what has been proposed. We are uh, the only active duty blue suit MQ-1 operation out there. So as we continue to execute persistent attack missions, the MQ-9 is more capable for that mission set. I absolutely love being a part of that, and this is a great community to be involved in. It really is instills kind of a sense of pride. It's a very, it's an awesome thing to be a part of. Oh, there it is. I'm <laughs> weapons and I load bombs and missiles on the MP9. I've been in the Air Force a little over two years and uh, maybe Onyx on MP9s. Uh, we work with Gucci Specs. Um... Yeah, here it's just really easy to get stuff done a little bit quicker because we're all kind of in the same building and working together. So. And this is a whole new ball game. This is nothing we learned in tech school, it's not in our CDCs, it's just, it's brand new for us. So. It shows that what we can do um, back at home station, uh, we only live in Earth. We never get to drop any live ammunition or anything, so coming out here and seeing that we can load live and then drop them to show like what we're actually here to do. I gotta say, it's pretty, it's pretty empowering to know, you know, what these planes are capable of and to know that I work on them and, you know, allow them to 
keep flying and doing what they're doing every single day to uh, you know, protect the country that we live in. And 